What is up, YouTube? Varia31 back with more gun to battle operation here today. So, this suit, the G3, I finally got this stupid thing during the anniversary event. It finally completed. It has been sitting at 99% for longer than I care to remember, teasing me, saying, Oh, you want this suit? Nope, sorry, you can't have it, bub. Well, thing is, I've had this suit since, uh, I think think pretty much the first early days that I had this game to begin with, which I believe was the second year that this was out, so it was early in the year, I think last year, or maybe, yeah, I think, well, when did this game come out? I, I can't remember. Anyways, so since the early days of this game, I've had this suit since the very first time they held the event for this mobile suit. I got it to drop, and I got some progress on it. And then it just stopped. It was at 75%, I believe. It stopped right there. So, another event comes along, and I don't think I really got any progress on it. And maybe if I did, it was very minimal. But, uh, so I had to wait again, because the game is like, Oh, you want this suit? Nope, you can't have it. Well, uh, finally, there was another event where... If you got gold chips, it would actually give you some progress on this suit, and I believe the act Saku was well. Um, yeah, I got enough gold chips, I just needed literally one more. One more gold chip. 99% is where the suit was at progress-wise. Event ends. No suit. And then, just to add insult, the game gives me a gold chip AFTER THE EVENT, of course. So. Enough complaining about that. I'm happy to finally have this thing. The event, the anniversary event, two year anniversary event that is, uh, that just passed recently, finally completed this for me. So, I'm slightly below, I'm like just one rank below being able to use it normally right now, because this, uh, this recording was made during the event, so I was able to use it during then, because, well, events allow you to do that. But, uh, yeah, it's it's basically just the Gundam, uh, but it has better thrusters and better foot speed, I believe. Uh, in fact, I think recently they gave it a slight update to where it has actually better foot speed, so it can it, it like doesn't really show up on its stats. I'm not sure, but it does have basically better foot speed, at least from what Phantom has told me. Um, it's it can pretty much more or less keep up with the Aksaku, which is extremely fast and is a total pain in the neck to keep up with, especially when there's lag. When there's lag, the thing is practically untouchable, which with my bad internet, you can only imagine how that's like. It's basically warp 10. It's everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I can't hit it, and well, you get the you get the picture. Anyways. The thing is powerful, it uh, cannot use the Super Napalm that the regular Gundam can use, sadly, which I'm still hoping to get sometime soon for my RX-78 II or uh, regular Gundam. Uh, the Super Napalm is just a grenade launcher attachment to the beam rifle, but it has some really big splash damage and does some good damage. Uh, so I'm hoping to get that sometime soon. Sadly, this suit cannot use that, at least I don't think it can. It can use a bazooka, I believe. Uh, I just kind of prefer beam rifles, though. And, uh, yeah. I like how the suit looks, and as you can tell, I obviously put it in uh, Gundam Alex colors because, well, I'm kind of obsessed with that suit. It's my favorite suit. So, there's really no, at least for me, there's kind of no arguing that the Alex colors look good on another Gundam such as this. But I digress. Anyways. It has the standard Gundam armaments, it has a beam rifle, Vulcans, and a beam saber. So yeah, pretty standard. Um, it has slightly it has slightly weaker melee than the regular Gundam does. I guess to balance it out to make up for like its better thrusters and whatnot, they decided to make it to where its melee was a bit weaker, which is okay, I guess. It's still a strong melee, but it's just not as strong as the regular Gundam. Beam Rifle is still as great as ever. Uh, you, of course, have to just choose your shots carefully, charge up whenever you get the chance, and 
Stun the guy. If you can, hit them with Vulcans afterwards. Or follow up with a beam saber strike to knock them down, something like that. But anyways. Yeah, I am really enjoying using this suit. It costs more than the regular Gundam, as you would imagine, because it is an event suit. It costs 325 I believe, whereas the regular Gundam is only 300 I think. Um, so yeah, if you die, you're going to cost a little bit more to your team. It does have, I think, more health, or around the same amount of health. Actually, I think it's around the same amount of health, but uh, it's... It's a good suit to use. I really like it. Uh, guys, if there's one event suit that I wanted to complete forever, it would be this. Because it's been teasing me since the day I first got the drop on it. And I just wanted the darn thing to complete. And now it's finally done. Now, I did not, as I was hoping I would, I did not get a drop on the Gundam Alex during the anniversary event. Uh, I got the camphor. I just gotta rank up one more time, I think, to be able to use it. But I do not have the Gundam Alex at all. Uh, I probably should have played on my Japanese account more to hope to, uh, to possibly get it, which I kept neglecting, so there weren't that chance as well. Um, but this this sort of makes up for it. it. It's fine. Alex is my favorite. I'd love to have it, but for now, this will be okay. Um, Maybe if they bring back the Camphor and Alex events, I will have a chance of getting it again since I will only have one suit to worry about. Uh, because I cannot stress enough how much I want to use that suit. I just, I, I want it. I, I want it now. Like, now. Good thing I have other games to play it on. Uh, play with it on. Anyways. Um, so yeah. This was a pretty good round. Um... Got some decent kills in. Uh, I don't think I die in this round. Uh, yeah, I don't die in this round, and uh, which isn't very common for me. And uh, it was a bit laggy, but not too bad. I've had much worse lag before. Uh, for those who aren't aware how the lag works in this game, it usually entails, uh, for your screen at least, when you're walking forward, you'll like slow down a bit, and then all of a sudden randomly speed up like you're sprinting, but you're not. It's just the lag. But, uh, yeah. This, uh... This Zaku here, I think, is the last kill I get for the match, and it's like the... the last kill that anyone gets in the match, so... I felt kind of proud of myself for doing that, and... You know how hard Zakus are to kill for Gundam, because, you know, Zakus are just amazing and stuff. Not really. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, this is the G3, or RX-78-3, G3 Gundam. Um, I thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Very out.